Hi viewers, welcome to the channel and to another video in which we learn how to model in FreeCAD using Pratcom models. In today's video, you will see how to draw this part in a simple way in FreeCAD, step by step. So open your FreeCAD program and let's see how to design the model. Start a new document, pressing the empty file. On the part I not bench as the fold, create a body object first and then start the modeling of the 3D model, creating a sketch, click on create sketch icon, this icon and select XY plane for this first sketch and then go to sketch a jump of sketch a workbench and click on this arrow and select centered rectangle option and then start the rectangle here on the origin axis and then create this rectangle next select the mission tool and click on this link here and now click off and now it's time to set the dimension of this link here let's go to the drain page and here we can see that we have 182 millimeters for the rectangle that we are trying to create just add 182 millimeters and here we have this and next click on this vertical line click off and now set the dimensions 220 millimeters set the dimension and enter and now to leave this sketch just press this icon or press close or escape two times to leave this sketch and then press home on your keyboard and you will see this sketch created next we have to extrude this sketch to create a salt to do that we click on this icon and we must set the length of 60 millimeters as we can see here so just change here to 6 on this test panel and then press enter and here we have our first salt now that we have the salt, it's time to create another salt, these salt here, these parts. To do that, we'll create a new sketch on the XY plane again. Click on the create sketch icon and then select XY plane. Click on this plane and now switch to the session view by pressing this icon. And here we can see this axis. The next thing to do is to go to sketch jumps again and select center rectangle and now this time we'll create this rectangle here on the vertical axis and then we select the dimension tool to set the dimensions of this rectangle we click on this and here click off and we must set a distance of 240 millimeters like we see here so we set this dimension and we press enter and now we have this two degrees of freedom now as you can see here next click on this line here click off and the next length that we must set is 60 millimeters so just set 60 and we have this now we have to set the distance from this line here to this edge but the first thing we shall do is to extract this edge here in order to use it as a reference so we have to select external jump tool and then extract this edge and as you can see here we have this and we can use this and we can use this to set the dimension Select the mission tool, now click on this edge and now on this horizontal line and set a distance of 20 millimeters as we see here, 20 millimeters. Now we have this and now it's time to mirror this geometry on this side here. To do that, we have first to escape this tool, the dimension tool, and then select this rectangle in this way and next use the symmetry tool, just click here and now select this and now click on this horizontal axis and now we have this also on the test panel you can see that we have four degrees of freedom so this sketch is not completely constrained we have to constrain this to do that the first thing that we'll do is to select constrain symmetric this tool here and then select this point this point and now this horizontal axis as you can see now we have two degrees of freedom it means that the dimension of this line here and this line here is not defined. So what you'll do is to make these lines equal to the lines of this rectangle. To do that, we select equal constraint and then we select this line here and this one. And now we have one degree of freedom. Now we select this line and this line here, sorry. Select these two lines and now we have this. As you can see, now it's full constrained. So now we close this sketch and the next thing that we do is to create a salt using these two geometries. To do that, we select path tool, and here we have this, and the next thing to do is to set the correct length of this. We can see here on this ring page that we have a length of 30 millimeters for these parts here. So we set that mission, and then we press enter, and now we have this. Selected this edge here, control, selected this edge. As you can see, we have the fillets only on this edge and in this edge. 
Okay, so let's select fillet tool and then change the radius to 20 millimeters and press enter and here we have this. Now we have to fill at the edge of these solids here, like we see here on the string page. So here we can see that we have a radius of 5 millimeters for this edge here. And for this edge here we have 16 millimeters. So what do you do here to easily create fillets on this edge here? What you can do is to first change the draw style to wireframe. To do that, we press V3, or we can go to this draw style icon here and press here, and then we'll find these all options. We have here the wireframe and the flight lines. Okay, so next here, to zoom in and hold the control key, select this edge, this one, this edge, this edge, this one here, and also this edge, this edge, this one here, and this. Now that we have selected all edges that we need on the fillet operation, we can press fillet tool, and also we can change the draw style back to flat lines, pressing, selecting this option. Okay, and we must change the ridge here to 16 millimeters, and then press enter, and here we have this. Just press V3 on your keyboard, and then select the edge that we need, Hold Ctrl Q, this edge, this edge here, and this edge. And now to go back to flat line source cell, we press V7, and here we have this. And then we press Fillet tool, and we must change the radius to 5 millimeters. And now we have this, as you can see. Now press OK to finish this operation. And now if we rotate the model, we can see that we have these all fillets. So it's correct, and it's time to go to the next operation. The next operation is to create a thickness on this part here, like we see here. Okay, if we go to this 3D model here on this document, we can see that we have this thickness here. Let's create this. Let's go to our document and to create the thickness, we we'll have to make some selections here on this part. So we will start selecting this face here and now hold Ctrl key, select this face, this face and now rotate this model. Zoom in, select this face, this one here, and now rotate the model again and select this face. Rotate again and select this face here, and now just press home on your keyboard. As you can see, we have this all face here selected, and these are the face that we need in order to create the thickness on this part here. Next, select thickness tool, 3 millimeters, and then press enter, and here we have this, okay? And now that we have this, it's time to create a small fillet on this edge here. The size, as we can see, is 1.5 millimeters. Okay, so we select this edge, now hold Ctrl key, select this edge here, this one, and this edge, this edge, and next this edge here, and then select fillet tool and set a fill out of 1.5 millimeters and then press enter and here we have this. Okay, uh, the next step now is to create these pockets here, these, these extrusions here. Let's start by these extrusions here. Select this face here and then create a new sketch on this face. Select this tool and then zoom in here, create the slot on the vertical axis like this and create another slot in this way okay and this one here must be a vertical line the way we do that is to select this tool and then click on this line and here we have this okay also on this string page we can see that these all slots here have the same radius okay two millimeters so what you can do is to select equal constraint and make this arc and this arc equal okay next let's select dimension tool and then click on this line here and now this line here and set the correct length which is two millimeters and here we have this also we can see that we have a distance of 30 millimeters from this slot to this slot we can select the center point of this arc here and then this vertical axis and set the distance of 15 millimeters and here we have this as you can see 
we can see that the center points of these three slots is horizontal constrained so we can we can go to this tool here and then select constraint horizontal and make this point horizontal constrained with this point here and here we have this okay now here over here let's see what happens as you can see we have this from this edge to the center point of this slot we have 1.2 and we can see that this center point and this center point here have some distance we can set 1.2 so select the mission tool and then this point now this point here and we must create the vertical distance of 1.2 millimeters and here we have this and what you can do here is to select external jump tool and then extract this edge here okay and then select the dimension tool and then click on this line here this edge and then on the center point and now we'll create a vertical distance just click off here sorry let's set 210 millimeters minus minus 108 millimeters and this all divided by two and then press enter and here we have 20 millimeters as you can see okay now that we have this let's skip this tool and hide this all dimensions pressing this icon and now what you'll do is to mirror this geometry so select this geometry in this way and then select symmetry tool and click on these first edges, and now we have this as you can see okay the next thing that we'll do is to try to full constrain this sketch again so what we do we select equal constraint and we make this arc equal to this arc here now this line equal to this line here and next we select constraint symmetric and then we select this point, this point, and now this first edges. And now, as you can see, it's full constrained again. Close this sketch, and next select Path Tool, and the length of this extrusion must be 0.5 millimeters. And here we have this, as you can see. Now it's time to create these pockets here, as you can see. And the way to do that is to select this face here, and then create a sketch. What you'll do on this sketch here is to create a rectangle and then we'll use that sketch to create a pocket on this part here. So what you do, we select centered rectangle tool and then we create this on the horizontal axis. Okay. Next we select the mission tool and then we click on this first column here and we set a distance of 108 millimeters, so length of 108. And here we can see that we have a width of 20 millimeters for this rectangle. So just click here and set 20. Here we have this one degree of freedom now, as you can see. So we can see that we have a distance of 100 millimeters from this edge to this point, to this edge. Okay. So what you can do is to select this point and now this one here and click off and set a distance of 50 millimeters and then skip two times to leave this sketch and create a pocket using this tool here. Just press OK here and zoom in and select this face again and now create a new sketch on this face. Okay, now zoom in here, select external geometry tool, extract this edge and this edge and next select polling tool. Let's create a geometry. Let's create a rectangle. Okay, and then let's use the constraint perpendicular, this tool here, and make these two lines perpendicular, the same here, and the same here, and here, okay? So now we have this rectangle, okay? And the next thing that we have to do is to set the dimensions. Select the dimension tool, click on this line here, click off, and and here we must set a length of one millimeters as we can see here so let's set one sorry let's set one and enter here we have this now we have to set this distance here as you can see we have 10 millimeters from this a from this point to this point here and we also have this angle here to set this let's first select this line and now this edge and set the angle which is very degrees okay 
and now to set a distance here from this line to this point we'll, we will create a point okay so select point tool and create a point here on this line and next use the constraint constant and select this point and now this edge and here we have this as you can see next select the mission tool click on this point and now on this point here and set a distance of 10 millimeters here we have this as you can see skip this tool and increase the size of this rectangle in this way okay uh, next to full constraint this sketch we can also set some dimensions here so select the emission tool and then click on this point and now on this point here and let's say 12 millimeters and the length of this line here we can set let's say 32 and then skip two times to leave this sketch and here we have this and now we use the path tool to create a salt reverse the duration and set three millimeters and here we have this and now what you do just press home on your keyboard let's first mirror this pocket here this pocket that we created here select this pocket and then mirror tool okay press ok here and then select this part here and then go to the mode transform tool okay and change to the top view and the first thing that we'll do here is to create a linear pattern operation a linear array of this pad here on the y-axis y duration so go to the test panel on transformations right click and select linear pattern okay and then scroll down go to duration change to y-axis okay and the length here set 108 millimeters and also reverse the duration and here we have this now change the occurrence to 26 and then press ok and now right click again and select mirror transformation this time and now as you can see we have this so just press ok and ok here and now press home on your keyboard and as you can see this is the final model as we can see on this drawing page thank you for watching this video if you find this video useful please don't forget to hit like and share this video with your friends and if you want to support the content of the channel there's a link in the video description to the channel's call file page or you can also buy the ebooks that is appearing on the screen now and that way you will be supporting the channel thank you for watching i hope to see you in the next video thank you